Welcome back to Kenmore Violin Studio, where in today's tune-up we are talking about our equipment. And specifically we're talking about chin rests and shoulder rests. And I know this can be a contentious subject and people get very worked up about it. Um, I, don't worry, I'm not going to do that. So if you play with a shoulder rest, um, I, I, won't, I won't judge you. I've, I've, I in fact have a collection of uh, I've got a box full of shoulder rests that I've used over the years and I'm, I'm actually continuously experimenting because I'm always looking for, for the perfect setup. Um, so, and, and you'll find amongst most of the best players today, most of them use a shoulder rest. So they clearly are doing something right. Um, in the old days, it was less common to see sh shoulder rests. And if, if you look at the old footage of Heifetz, Oistrak, there's no evidence of shoulder rest. I think Oistrak used to hide a pad in, in, inside his coat or shirt. And these days, I think Augustine Hadelik does something similar. But yeah, James Ennis, Hilary Hahn, most, most, most of the top players are using shoulder rests. So the danger with a shoulder rest is clamping and immobilizing. So, so most of all, I'll often see people with, with, with their head off to one side and really clamp down and, that, and that's just going to create all this tension in your neck and you've got tension in your neck that's going to propagate to your shoulders and your arms and it's, it's just not a good situation. The other thing it tends to do is it tends to immobilize your shoulder joint here. So, uh, the, and the problem, and, and that'll create problems as you shift to higher positions. It might prevent you from from getting your arm sufficiently underneath the instrument. So we we need we need this mobility, and we need this mobility, and we need just enough stability so 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 that we can uh, you know we can let go if we need to and and, and hang on. But, 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 but generally, we're providing a little bit of support with our left hand and even with the bow and, with, and also with a bit from the, from the chin rest and the shoulder rest. The chin rest I've got here, it's a, it's a very minimalistic design from Fiddler Man. And uh, so, so the, the nice thing about this is uh, because it's really just a lip here that, that tucks in underneath my jaw and, and it gives me a feeling of great security as I come up and down the fingerboard. So might not work for everyone, but I'd say at least look for, a, for some sort of angle here. I, I don't like the flat style because basically you're trying to keep the instrument close to you and, and especially as you're downshifting, there's some friction there that tends to pull the instrument away. So if, if all you have is a, is a, a sort of a flattish thing here, then you're going to tend to clamp a lot. So that's something to watch out for. Um, so anyway, so, so what I use just to recap is the Zaret rest and, it, and, and if if it doesn't work for you, I'd, I'd least recommend trying it for a while. Try playing without a shoulder rest, try with a soft pad, and, and, and just see if you can keep your head uh, you know, on the straight side, not, not too much clamped over. You want it to be centered down the fingerboard, so there's the, the type of chin rest that mounts on the center. To me, it puts the head too far to the right, so I, so I can't actually get my, I can't see the straight down the strings. Um, I, I do think it makes a difference in the sound if you, um, th there are some chin rests that clamp on the side and I think they do tend to damp the sound and I worry about the structure of the instrument. I, I know at least at the end for the, there's a, there are blocks inside the instrument so that's the place to clamp. If you do what I've done and extend the height of the, of the chin rest, because I, I, I prefer to have height above than below the instrument, so I've, I've got some plywood it looks a little ugly but uh, I do plan to replace it anyway if you do that make sure to get some cork uh, between it and the instrument so that you're not providing too much uh, force in any one place so hope this helps and we'll see you next time thanks for watching